y'all we're out here at the Port Isabel public boat ramp and we're gonna get Thunder Road all set up and launched in the water just launched Thunder Road check it out y'all All right, y'all, Thunder Road is wet in the Port Isabel waters. Whew, it's hot. It's not as hot as it was last year, but boy, it's hot. And that's a little breeze, which is always good. Check this out, two bedroom, two bath. Way bigger improvement than compared to last year. This sure does beat a tent. So this is kind of the uh, the trip has really kind of already started. Um, I have to leave the starting line and drive the truck and trailer all the way down to Magnolia Beach to the finish line so that way when we get to the finish line we have uh, the, the trailer to put Thunder Road on and we can get Thunder Road out of the water and back home. But uh, yeah, I'm driving through the uh, checkpoint right now here in uh, South Texas. Check it out, fixing to go through. All right, y'all, Will, we made it to the finish line. Uh, although we're not finished with the race, we haven't even really started yet. Um, but yeah, we're at Maggie Beach. This is where we will end, but uh, this is where we dropped the truck and trailer off, and now we're headed back to Port Isabel to the starting line. So let's get on board. She is Thunder Road. First disaster we haven't left yet, but we've got a uh, got to make a little patch on a hole here. So we got our little patch kit right here, and we're gonna take care of this right now. All right, yet again, first duct tape job done. All right, motor's warming up, we're peeing. That's good. We got the solar hooked up. Yet again, we've got a duct tape job for our uh, antenna, for the radio. Got our GPS running, our batteries running, it's charging. We're all good to go. We're loaded up. Looking a lot lighter than last year, huh? Little liquid IV hydration, start the morning off. Yeah, boy. It's a little overcast this morning, but it is clearing up and the sun's coming up. I see some blue in the sky now. I was a little worried this morning that we were gonna get some rain that wasn't in the forecast, but it looks like we're gonna be okay. We got Navionics up and running. We've got our chart plotted. We're ready to get out into the bay. All right. Let's do it. Hit start. Ready? Yeah. Alright, we're off. 
For those of you who don't know, the Texas 200 is a rolling mess about. Not a race, a mess about. See all out where there. people bring boats of all shapes and sizes and sail them on the South Texas coast intercoastal waterways. It is 7.40 in the morning. We are out 20 minutes earlier than what we wanted, so we're making good time so far. It's a 200 mile, six day sail, consisting of five camps along the way. This year, we're starting in Port Isabel, Texas. One second, let me get this rudder down. Oh yeah, we're steering way better now. Okay, where was I? We're starting in Port Isabel, Texas, and making our way out into the Laguna Madre Channel, just north of the Queen Isabel Causeway Bridge. All right, got the sail up. Forgot to turn the record button on. The winds this year are predicted to be gnarly. So this should be a really exciting series. Let's go sailing, y'all. All right. Ready? Sailing. We got chicken parts from Rockport, Texas next to us. Just up in front of us. Now we're starting to get passed up by the catamarans and trimarans.
All right, it's lunch time. I'm gonna go with this Adventure Meal Chili Mac and Beef, and we're gonna give this Jet Boil a try. My brother brought this. It's supposed to uh, boil water extremely fast, so we'll give this a shot. Pretty much, yeah, it's hot enough, I think. Nothing really steamed water in like 10 seconds. Yeah. to go ahead and raise the jib. We picked up a whole knot and a half of speed doing so. That's pretty cool. So doing a little wing on wing. Yep. me here I think is uh, Eric and uh, his trimmer and squirt Eric's veteran for the uh, 200 he has a YouTube I'll link it right here but he also designed the birdie for this year's Texas 200 which is really cool but when he catches up to us and passes us we'll get to, we'll say hello to Eric We hit seven knots a few minutes ago, which is uh we're cooking. We're cooking now. We are moving. We picked up about a, a knot and a half, two knots almost, once I got the jib set up. Has that made a difference? Stuff getting passed up. Got a few more catching up on us. Chop here.
All right, we're coming up on Fort Mansfield, just over yonder. And we're fixing to uh, turn in to uh, head into the jetties. I don't know if we're gonna go all the way to the jetties, but uh, we'll be heading in that direction. So I'm gonna put y'all down and get ready to tack. Or actually, I don't think we're gonna tack. Yeah, we won't have to tack. All right. So we're dead into the wind right now. We tried sailing for a few minutes and it was pushing us way off of the channel, off course. So I said, uh-uh, we're firing up the motor and we're getting back on, getting back in course. Yeah, you turn into the wind, it starts getting gnarly out here. Look at this. Kind of hanging out. It's windy out there right now. Flick it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Pinch the end. It is day two of the Texas 200. Mm -hmm. 